high purchase. When we talk about high purchase, okay, suppose I walk, um, I walk into a shop, okay, or uh, I see a friend of mine driving a brand new car or a nice car and I want to buy it. And I tell my friend, oh, um, Mr. Lai or Mr. Brown, let me use Mr. Brown. I like Mr. Brown a lot. Let's say, Mr. Brown, okay, I want to get your car, okay? So how much is your car selling? He tells me he's not selling, but because he's my friend, he wants to sell it to me. I tell you, Mr. Brown, Charlie, I don't have all the money. You owe. For now, what price can you give me? He says, oh, I'll sell my car for, let's say, 50,000 Ghana cities, okay? So 50,000 Ghana cities. Then I tell Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, for now, I don't have 50,000 uh, 50, Ghana cities, okay? The amount of money I have on me right now, or in my account is, let's say, 30,000. So I tell Mr. Brown, okay, I'll give you 30,000. But let's come to this mutual agreement. I'll give you the 30,000, and then I'll later pay the rest of the 20,000 in, let's say, monthly installments. But I have to pay it with what? Interest, because it will later come as what? Um, a money that is not accumulated at, let's say, a particular time, but it is going to be spread, okay? So we are going to spread that amount. So for us to spread it, I'm going to pay an interest. So I tell Mr. Brown, oh, Mr. Brown, because you are my friend, you just make it 5% interest for me, per, let's say for a month or let's say per annum, okay? So Mr. Brown tells me, okay, you can bring your 30,000 and the rest of the 20,000, I'm going to give it to you for two years. Let's say in equal monthly installments at 5% interest. So I'll tell him, okay, Charlie, that's cool. I can at least manage with this. So high purchase, we can say, is just making a down payment and then later paying the rest of the money which is left with interest, okay? That is high purchase for you. So assuming my 50,000, at least at the end of the day, maybe if I should calculate, I'm going to pay Mr. Brown more than 50,000. Okay, because of the interest that is going to be accumulated. Okay, so let's pick an example of high purchase. So like I was saying earlier on, assuming I walk to Mr. Brown and I tell him I want to purchase his car and he tells me he's willing to sell it. And I tell him I'm willing to pay or he tells me to pay, let's say, uh, a percentage of the amount He's telling me to pay, which is the 50,000 Ghana cities. And I tell him I can pay 30,000 Ghana cities. So the amount I have paid, or the amount I'm going to deposit, is 30,000 um, 30, Ghana cities, okay? So with the 30,000 Ghana cities as my down payment, the amount left for me to pay, amount left, amount left to pay will be the 50,000 minus my down payment, which is 30,000, okay? So this is going to be 20,000. So this is the amount left for me to pay. Now, assuming Mr. Brown tells me, okay, for this 20,000 Ghana cities, I'm going to allow you to pay it within two years, okay? With, um, let's say, 5% interest per annum. So with 5% interest, I'm going to calculate the interest on this amount. Okay, so 5% interest on this amount, 5% interest on um, amount left to pay. So I'm going to calculate my simple interest. So my simple interest will be equal to the principal, which is the 20,000, okay, times the rate, which is 5% over 100%. Times the time frame given was what two years. Okay, so so we have for two years. So this is going to give me if I should calculate percentage will go zero will go uh, five two is ten. Ten times this will give me um, two thousand. Okay, I have two thousand Ghana cedis here. So this will be two thousand Ghana cedis. So this is the simple interest that is going to be on top of this amount. This is the simple interest that is going to be on the 20,000, okay? Now, if I want to calculate the total amount, okay, the amount I have to pay, okay? My, that's my monthly 
how much I'm going to pay monthly. Then I'm going to add the amount left to pay to the interest, okay? And then I divide it by what? For two years, so it will be 24 months, okay? So if I want to calculate amount to pay for... Uh, if I have to calculate the total amount I have to pay, not the total, how will you call this? This amount, this amount, amount left to pay plus the interest. Total amount left to pay. So if I have to calculate the total amount left to pay, this will be amount left to pay now will be the 20,000 plus the 2,000 Ghana cities as interest, okay? So this will be equal to, this will give me 22,000 Ghana cities, okay? Now if I want to find the amount I have to pay every month, because it is for two years, I'm going to divide this by 24. So monthly payment will be equal to the 22,000, which is the amount left to pay, divided by 24. And this is going to give us 916.66 pesos, um, okay? So this is the amount I'll be paying every month. Okay, for until I complete my payments. Now, if I want to find the total amount I've paid for the whole car, okay, the total amount for the car, my total amount for the car will be equal to, uh, we shall have our 22,000, which was the amount left to pay, plus the 30,000 I paid earlier on. So it will be 30,000, which I paid earlier on, plus, let's say, we have this amount, which is 22,000, okay? So this is going to give us um, 52,000 Ghana cities. Okay? So this is going to give us 52,000 Ghana cities. So this is the amount I've paid for the car. Okay? So Mr. Brown had, has made a profit of, let's say, 2,000 Ghana cities in addition to what? His um, asking price. Okay? Thank you very much.